Let's talk now then to Jonathan Fenby. He's an expert on China with the Information Research Service, Trusted Sources. He joins us from our central London studios. Good morning to you, Mr Good Fenby. You also worked out in the region, didn't you, with the South China yes, Morning Post. How damaging do you assess this to be for the Chinese? How concerned will the Chinese authorities be? Well, I think it's damaging uh, in the world at large, and it'll be interesting to see uh, whether this sets off other similar action uh, by other people involved uh, from abroad with the Olympics, how corporate sponsors, for instance, uh, will react. But I think the effect in China itself will be minimal. And it's not just concerns that have been highlighted now about Darfur, is it? I mean, there's a whole raft of issues that people have been talking about, which may well now bubble up. Tibet comes to mind, the, the domestic internal human rights record, for instance. Yes, I think, I mean, you'll get Tibet uh, coming up again. You've got uh, China's links with Burma and the regime there. You've got the internal crackdown on dissidents, although just recently, it must be said, three journalists ha uh, have been released, but other human rights aides environmental activists are regularly being picked up. So all those questions uh, will be brought uh, out by the Spielberg action. Do you, th do you think he was right to get involved at this level? I, I think it was inevitable that uh, he would step out. Now, given uh, the attention that's been paid to it after Mia Farrow's uh, op-ed article in the Wall Street Journal uh, comparing him to Nazi filmmakers who glorified the 1936 uh, Olympics in Berlin, um, I wonder rather why he got engaged in the first place, because uh, China's regime is not going to change. Uh, it was as it is now uh, when he got engaged, and I think uh, probably the idea of the glory of helping to stage the Olympics overcame uh, some rather more cool calculation.